scare for supermodel Sarah O'Hare, serial pest Peter Hoare lunging onto the catwalk during a lingerie launch in Brisbane. The serial pest may have crashed his last public do. Today, Peter Hoare was arrested trying to tackle supermodel Sarah O'Hare at an underwear launch in Brisbane city centre. The pest was quickly arrested and the beauty not hurt. It was a little scary. But Hoare has raised the ire of Queensland's leader. I think you should go home. I mean, I think Sarah O'Hare or anybody else is entitled to have a normal life without being interrupted by idiots. The publicity-driven menace has carved a reputation for himself. I think he's a guy who does it a lot, I've been told that may finally see him sent to jail. He upset punters when he stormed the 1997 Melbourne Cup, then the Australian Open tennis. Perhaps Hoare's most infamous streak was when he upset the MCG soccer tie between Australia and Iran. He infuriated mourners at the funerals of singer Michael Hutchins and race trainer Tommy Smith, and later invaded the South Australian Parliament. Peter Hoare now lives in Queensland, where he's proving to be just as unpopular. And he needs to understand that if he breaks the law, he'll be charged. I mean, we don't muck around with, with people like this. Police have been placed on alert for the serial pest during the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in October. But security concerns may be short-lived. A Gold Coast magistrate warned him last month he'd be locked up if he caused any more trouble after running onto the eviction stage of Big Brother. Paul was this afternoon charged with disorderly conduct. He's expected to appear in court tomorrow. Paul Kennedy, 10 News. Australian diplomats are tonight no closer to seeing two Perth aid workers being held in Afghanistan charged with spreading... ...to prevent him from disrupting upcoming international events in Queensland. Brisbane Magistrates Court was told Hall posed a threat to Chogham, the Goodwill Games and the Royal Visit. According to Queensland Police, serial pest Peter Hoare is a menace to public safety. They've already said to my solicitor that they're going, they want to put me in so I won't be around for the Goodwill Games and Chocolate. And that's exactly what happened today. Hoare, whose real name is Peter Howard, fronted Brisbane Magistrates Court charged with disrupting a lingerie fashion show earlier this month. Police successfully applied to have him kept in custody until the charge is heard in late October, well after Brisbane's high-profile events finish. I've got the greatest story already about what's going to happen at Chogger and between police and me. They're going to chuck me in jail because they think it's too hard to handle because I am schizophrenic. The court was told of Hoare's long list of notorious antics at public events, including disrupting a Melbourne Cup, an Australian Open tennis tournament, and an international soccer match. He's also gate-crashed the funerals of Michael Hutchins and Tommy Smith. The timing of his two months behind bars is a relief for the Queensland government, keen to impress the world during that time. At the end of all this, I hope he gets help. I don't have any, any malice views towards the man. He needs help. But frankly, you can't go around terrorising the nation or the state or individuals. Hoare, though, has plans to fight the remand. This afternoon, his solicitor applied to have him released on Supreme Court bail. John Bennett, 10 News. A Sydney jury has failed to reach a verdict in an unusual murder trial. Pack Australia's so-called serial pest has been charged with helping detainees break out from the Woomera Detention Centre. Peter Hoare is the fifth person to be arrested in relation to last week's breakout. Tonight, 10 of the 35 detainees who escaped remain on the run. It's a bizarre twist to last week's breakout, but today, Peter Hoare, the man dubbed Australia's serial pest, appeared in Port Lincoln Magistrates Court charged with assisting the Woomera breakout. Everyone abandoned me. They left me in the desert with them. Peter Hall was picked up by police at Tumby Bay, north of Port Lincoln. It's alleged he was attempting to hitchhike to Perth after leaving the group of escapees he'd been travelling with. Hall has made a name for himself by gate-crashing sporting and social events, including Australia's crucial World Cup soccer qualifier against Iran. Late today, he was refused bail and remanded in jail. 500 kilometres to the north, 20 of the 25 detainees who've been recaptured since the breakout appeared in Port Augusta Magistrates Court. Each was remanded to reappear in Adelaide on Thursday. 
Ten detainees, including two young boys, remain on the run tonight. With temperatures again dipping below freezing, police have serious concerns for their well-being. Well, we would have concerns for anybody's safety who's, who's out in nights like tonight without proper food, water and shelter. Meanwhile, 87 detainees inside Woomera face an eighth night without food as they continue their hunger strike. The federal government... Night, serial pest Peter Hoare charged over the Woomera breakout. ...times that the forward. This is 7 News. Good evening. Police have accused those behind the Woomera breakout of abandoning the escapees in the desert without food or warm clothing. Ten of the 35 asylum seekers who fled the detention centre last Thursday remain on the run. And among those accused of letting them out is the serial pest Peter Hoare. Back in the spotlight again, Peter Hoare was arrested at Tumby Bay on Eyre Peninsula this morning, attempting to hitchhike to Perth. We will allege that this person was involved um, in facilitating the escape. He's well known for his attention-seeking stunts, the Melbourne Cup in 1997, the funeral of in excess legend Michael Hutchins and the Australian Open tennis. Police allege he was with 15 detainees at a remote campsite north of Port Augusta before deserting them with no food or water yesterday morning. They abandoned me. They left me in the desert with them. They're now hunting for two young women in a green or grey 1991 Toyota van with floral patterns above the cabin. I believe that those girls were involved in assisting in um, breaking the people out of the detention centre and conveying them to Peter Feedy. Police say the women told the detainees to run from a police roadblock on Thursday night but didn't tell them about thousands of deadly mine shafts in the area. Meanwhile, 20 escapees recaptured by police have appeared in the Port Augusta Magistrates Court. Lawyers didn't apply for bail and they were remanded in custody to face court in Adelaide on Thursday. Tonight, the search continues for 10 escapees, including two young boys. A sighting was reported near Port Augusta this afternoon, but police found nothing. Well, we would have concerns for anybody's safety who's, who's out in nights like tonight without proper food, water and shelter. In Port Augusta, Jessica Adamson, 7 News. The guy happens quick and final, no replays. No, he's